Hi, I'm Jerry Gettle and we're here with a little bit of the produce that we just gathered out of the garden. Here with me in my hands is a Indian cream cobra melon. It's an oblong melon and it's probably where they got the snake uh, uh, cobra name from. But it's also uh, spotted and just a really beautiful melon and it's very fragrant, very um, perfumed and it also has a very soft uh, creamy like flesh that's different than most western melons. But yeah, as you can see there's a vast uh, diversity of produce coming out of our gardens again this summer. This is just a small sampling of mostly melons and uh, a few cucumbers and squash as well. Um, one interesting one that a lot of people think is a cucumber and it's often called a cucumber is the uh, Ar it's called Armenian cucumber, serpent melon. It goes by various names but it's actually a melon that's used just like a cucumber. You usually harvest it when it's about 12 to 16 inches long. They'll go, grow to 2 to 3 feet long. But they're best if you harvest them under 16 inches. Slice them up like a cucumber. They're totally bitter free. They are thin skinned and they make a crunchier pickle. Um, most cucumbers get kind of soft when you pickle them. These will make a very crunchy, crisp pickle and they're from Armenia and parts of the Middle East and Near East. And they're very popular to this day in many parts of the, that area. Then we also have right here, it's a Charente melon. It's an old French variety, very, uh, very sweet, reddish orange flesh and just an exceptional, exceptional variety for eating. It's just a beautiful, this one's not quite ripe but as you can see it's just very solid flesh. It's just very firm, crisp, but they um, taste a lot like a regular American, what people consider is a cantaloupe but they'll be a lot crisper and they have the same flavor but you, it's just like almost two times as strong. They're just very intense melon tasting uh, flesh. Then we have another interesting specimen here, a giant cucumber. We collected it in Thailand about seven years ago and it looks a lot like a big yellow canary melon or something but it's actually a cucumber. You peel it and uh, take the seeds out and you can eat them Oh, you can eat them up to full maturity and the flesh stays pretty good and crisp and they keep for a month or two so they're a real good long lasting choice for people that, that want to have cucumbers longer in the season. Once the cucumbers are gone you can put some of these big ones in your uh, cellar or closet and have cucumbers throughout the, throughout the fall and early winter months. We also on the ground down there as you can see have a big old orange glow watermelon which happens to be our favorite uh, family watermelon for eating. We all love the flesh and taste of the orange glow. Uh, orange watermelons tend to have a more intense um, citrus type, kind of citrus overtones to the flesh. It's a very incredible, incredible sweet taste and people just love, love the orange glow. It's become one of our top selling varieties. Uh, that and the Alibaba watermelon which is from Iraq are our two most popular uh, watermelons and they're both incredibly good eating. Then we have uh, the little tiger melons here. They'll all be uh, red and um, red and yellow or red and kind of cream colored with stripes and spots and models. And they're very fragrant little melon. People can often smell them when they're walking in your garden and want to know what the fragrance is and oftentimes it's the tiger melon because they're very uh, strongly scented. They have mild creamy white flesh and they only weigh up to about a pound so they're perfect for single servings, uh, small families and they're great just as an ornamental uh, variety as well. They're so colorful. We got one of the oldest varieties of cucumbers here. It's called brown netted and it actually looks like a big russet potato. Uh, there are a lot of these different vegetables. People that normally shop at the grocery store have no clue uh, what they are and even us a lot of times they'll surprise us when we try something new each year but this variety definitely looks like a potato but it tastes you know like a, a good um, crisp cucumber. Uh, it's actually a very old old, old cucumber. Uh, the original cucumbers probably look something more like this than what today's modern long green normal uh, grocery store cucumbers look like. This is much more of a historic type of a cucumber. And then on the end there, on the, in the barrel, we have the scallop squash. Uh, this, uh, there's actually two different varieties of yellow scallop squashes in there and they're uh, originally the scallop squash was uh, grown by the Native Americans in Columbus well, first discovered scallop squash on his first trip to the Americas and uh, it's been popular in Europe ever since, especially in France where they eat uh, a lot of scallop squash and to a limited extent in America, you know, we still eat, eat scallop squash as well in uh, some areas. But that basically shows you what we have uh, been growing uh, in a, on a limited scale this summer. We've, uh, we've also got a huge variety of tomatoes which I have one of our favorites right here. 
It's the nature's riddle tomato. And it's a Russian variety that we got a couple of years ago. But it's uh, just a beautiful yellow tomato with a lightly red mottled inside, and it's very sweet. Just a tremendous eating tomato. This is probably the favorite variety with our employees uh, every year. It's just tr tremendous for eating. They're incredibly sweet. And for people that don't like a very acid tomato, this is perfect for uh, a perfect low acid tomato that's great on sandwiches. It's meaty, but yet it has a nice amount of juice as well. But yeah, anybody that gets in the area here in Missouri, we'd love to have you stop by and show you the gardens in season or stop by our seed store and village. And you can also check out our website at rareseeds.com. That's rareseeds.com or find us on Facebook. We'd love to keep in touch. Thank you.